All right. A great, a great piece of arm wrestling training equipment is just your standard bath towel. Okay? So standard bath towel and maybe go a tiny bit smaller is probably the perfect towel for you. Okay, how do you use a towel for rising? Rising is a creative strength, right? Rising sets your opponent up for failure in the future, okay? So that means rising, any rising, towel, standard, whatever, rising is creative. So that means the force comes either from the ground or slightly towards you all the way to an angle like this, straight, okay? Okay? It doesn't start to come down. Rising doesn't really come down. Right? When, you, when you think about rising, where is the edge that affects your opponent? The edge, when you look at your hand, it's, it's this ridge. Okay? Once you go beyond this, everything past this is no longer rising. You can rise, you can rise with your palm okay? in, 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 a, in, a, in a defensive position, but it should not be confused with the cupping aspect, okay? Rising strength, okay, is typically this ridge or the, the, the ridge anywhere where it's at the very edge, okay? When you think this is the main ridge, this is the main ridge for rising. That's what the towel works so well. Okay, one of the things in rising is uh, does it, you, you think about chains, right? Uh, everything is always working together when you, when you train, right? Uh, so what is the chain that's going on here? We're gonna work off the chain with the towel, but okay, basically you're gonna work the, the muscle that, that makes this go up, bicep, possibly shoulder, it's gonna travel through the back, but this generally, I mean, you don't need to focus on this too much. These muscles are, are, are gonna be way too big to overpower all this anyways. So what Eric's gonna do is gonna show a couple different lifts with the towel, okay? First, we're gonna do movement. So we're gonna do movement without the shoulder and without even the bicep, okay? Just, just on this angle. So he can, put his, he can put his forearm flat on the table and, and rise up, just like that. And what he really wants is he wants to have the weight between his knuckle and beyond. This is the leading ridge right there, just changing this angle. It's a very, very difficult strength to acquire, but what it does is it forces the who's holding on to who. A, a, a guy will not be able to defeat that with the top of his hand, and he'll be forced to hold on to you right away. And then you're gonna get to use more muscle. Okay, you can, you can change this more, okay? You can start to add the bicep, okay? You can add the bicep, let's do it off a chair. So now, we can start to work the negative with the, with the bicep included. So he's gonna drive up, okay, right? Now you can imagine this is gonna be a heavier load, all right? And what's gonna happen is if this starts to be a failed lift, his, his angle here is gonna drop, okay? He's not gonna be able to lift it without losing wrist integrity, okay? So again, this gets back to how to functionally use small muscles, okay? Negative cycle, lock the muscle, drive up, through that small muscle with bigger muscles, okay? That's how you're gonna get the most out of your riser, okay? Just like that. Now, he can do it with his, with his shoulder out, okay? So he's using that chain so that he could, he could reset easier on a pad, or he can lock his, lock his elbow inside his body, replicating he's got his elbow on a pad, and he's locked in. This strength, the towel strength, is good anywhere rising, right? You can turn your hand over, you know, anything you can think of. It's all rising when you're coming off the floor with the towel. But really the most technical part of the whole rising game is the farther out you extend the force, right? You need to be strong all the way out to this ridge, okay, when you're rising. And towel is really good for that because you can twist it and put the pressure in the perfect spot, right? Because if you're facing another guy who's rising with you, Okay, he's not just gonna attack, you know, here on your hand. He's gonna try and get that same spot that you're attacking. So it's 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 very important to be able to extend that pressure outwards. That's it. So that force is traveling from his body all the way through, right out to his fingertips, coming upwards. So I've seen sometimes when guys are uh, battling at the beginning of a match, 
their arms, their hands kind of start to separate? Yes. Is that because they're both trying to rise against each other? Very it often, like yeah. Kind of, trying That's to right. The outer. That's right, yeah. They're both, and, and what's happening there is we're going to get into this part a little bit later, but uh, they're, both, they're both trying to do a move what's called a top roll. And, and they're, they're, over, they're overextending their top roll, okay? And they're both doing the same thing, okay? Uh, okay, go into that position, guys. You'll see very often, okay, guys are, guys are up high. Both guys are fighting up high. And then, they, yeah, okay. And, and go into, is that what you're talking about? Yeah, because it looks like they're all kind of rolling out. The thing yeah, like, like kind of like, roll a bit. Side. Like, go roll, like, side. there you go. Yeah, like the, yeah, yeah, there you go, okay? See, what, what's going on there is they both want to play this outside game, okay? Arm wrestling is inside and outside, okay? Inside is attacking the arm. Outside is attacking the, attacking the hand. And they're just prematurely launching on a hand attack, okay? More rising strength. If one guy has got significantly more of this, what's going to happen is the guy is going to spin out underneath his fingers. No, no, still do your top roll, okay, but just go underneath his fingers, like ball up, there you go. See, Eric has more rising strength. So typically, a good referee is going to call him for an underhand slip, or he's going to be able to transition into other, other moves much better. I have a, so basically, the towel, is exa it has these three basic moves that the... It's just this, it's a different kind, but very similar to using the preacher curl. One of the things that the towel gives you that the preacher curl doesn't, Come on back on the table, guys. Okay, if you can really lock your rising in, okay? Now, like I say, rising is all the way through the knuckle and up high, okay? But rising strength is not fully intertwined with holding on to somebody, okay? Like, if you can properly rise on somebody and secure your rise, okay? Secure your rise against them, okay? That means this guy has to hold on. That's what rising is all about, is making the other guy hold on to you. Okay, once he's secured that, you can see he can open his hand. Okay, and that's, that's, what, that's what the towel really gives you, right? When you're, when you're pulling with a towel, I really, I don't have, the friction that the towel gives me, gives me enough that I don't have to hold on to the towel. The towel just sits there with friction, okay? When you're using standard gym equipment, you're going to have to really hold on to it. As soon as you go, like this way, not so much, but this way, you're definitely having to hold on to the weight. So it's incorporating kind of some false truths into, into the strength required, okay? Um, so technically, I'd say the towel is more true to what you exactly need. Yeah, I, I found when I was lifting the towel, it was more, yeah, more yeah. on the top of your hand. Yeah, right, to exactly. And that's why, like with standard gym equipment, you're really going to be able to train your bicep really great. You're going to be able to nail it. You're not going to nail your bicep with a towel. You're gonna, the only way you're going to nail the bicep with the towel is if you're holding the towel like through a loop, like tied together, you know, kind of like this, where it's not really pulling you one way. The, with the standard dumbbell, you got more balance given to you. The towel already is getting so imbalanced that it's going to push the strength requirements further up your arm. So it's, it's a more technical strength. 